Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a little tips and tricks video. Um, I'm coming back to something that I talked about a few months back which is a website that is called haveibeenpawned.com. This I'll be posting the link again in the description below the video. Now um, a lot of people were skeptical and you know left me messages saying well you should not you know talk about this website it's probably malicious stealing everything like it can't steal nothing all you do is just enter a username or an email address you don't enter any passwords or anything here so what do you want them to do except maybe try to send you spam which is not the case this is a very safe website and it has a very very useful um, feature knowing if you have been exposed to uh, your personal information being stolen somewhere. So what I want to add today is a lot of you have used this website and said my god my email was uh, pawned. What does that mean? Um, should I be scared? And what should I do? So here's the thing. I'm going to give you an idea. Um, all of my emails have been pawned uh, because it's very simple. I'm a public guy that actually, um, you know, uses many websites, and it's normal that I I've been pawned. There's, you know, as soon as you use your email everywhere, um, chances are you've been pawned somewhere. So the first thing is not to panic. First of all, when you actually enter a username or an email and check it out, it gives you below it, a, it, it's either green telling you that it's fine or red, meaning no, you've been pawned, meaning the breaches that you were in. And they actually give you some information about where the breaches happened and where you were. So MySpace, iMesh in this case. Uh, let's try another one. Uh, let's try uh, another of my emails. And check if I've been pawned or not. Once you do that, of course, it gives you, again, I'm pawned. This one was in LinkedIn in May 2016. This is where I'm pawned. So if you've been pawned, what are the rules? What should you do? First of all, look at where you were pawned. If it gives you, for in my, in my case here, it says LinkedIn. The first thing you should do is go to that account. If you want to continue using it, um, change your password immediately. That's the first thing that you need to do. Second of all, think about that password. Is, a, is that password used only here? Or it's used on every website? A lot of people have that habit of using the same password everywhere. Then change it everywhere. If you've been using the same password, you need to change it everywhere. To make sure that nobody has that password um, and you know to be safe change the password of your main account so for example I've changed the password of that email address even better I've done this with this account have that account uh, with two-factor authentication or authentication sorry so that you know even if somebody has a password with two-factor authentication they just can't get in so there's no problem there you know, have some way of having um, a, a, another email where you can receive a secret code or a link uh, or, you know, your smartphone by having two-factor authentication. So, in general, if you've changed your passwords everywhere that uh, you've seen here that you were pawned in, if you change the main password of that email, uh, even better, add two-factor authentication or authentication. Um, you know what, you're okay. There won't be any problems. Even if they try to uh, get into your accounts, there won't be uh, any problems because they won't be able to get into it because you've been uh, fast enough to change your personal information. So that means that all of the um, details of you know your, your, your email and its um, password are, have changed. So your password isn't good anymore. There's only one thing where I would say um, where the compromised information is a problem is 
Now here it says you it says um, email address and password compromised data. That's okay, but you know what? Where you should be scared if your pond is if it's a website where, for example, they have your credentials, they have your credit card, stuff like that. In the case of um, credit card information being stolen, what I would probably do is you can call your the credit bureau and have them put a little flag on your account saying, well, I want to have you know my account watched and have alerts in case some illegal activity happens. Um, of course, you can warn your bank. You can say, uh, well, you know, my credit card was in a website that data was stolen. See what they will tell you to do. Um, in most cases, they'll look at your account. They're, they're, most of the time, they don't change the card. What they will, they're going to do is simply uh, check more closely your account and also yourself, you know, check your credit card statements to make sure that everything is all right. But um, that's pretty much, you know, what you need to do. So in cases where it's only usernames or emails and passwords, change the password everywhere. Add two-factor authentication where it's possible. That fixes everything. And the case where you add a credit card will have that checked closely to make sure they don't uh, try to, you know, purchase something or do some transactions over your credit card. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and uh, hopefully you enjoy our little tips and tricks. Thank you for following us.